Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We just used the coat hanger to bring down the ladder and go to the second floor of the shopping mall. Now we're here. Let's explore. Can't wait. Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. Oh, that was cool the way that camera kept turning for like a couple seconds after I stopped moving. Can I get it to happen again? No, but yeah, there's something that feels different about the camera, significantly different over the first Silent Hill. I'm not sure exactly what it is. In terms of my control of it, it's still basically the same, where if I tap the view button, it'll move to be behind my character, or at least it'll try to, depending on the, the scene, whether it has a camera angle it can get to or not. So that's still a thing. Most of the time, it's a thing you don't actually normally control. It just kind of happens as you move. And most of the time, that's pretty much fine. But there's something that feels different, and I don't know what it is. It sort of feels like it maybe follows where I'm looking a bit better than the original camera. Yeah, like, I feel like this. Like this. It's like... Get up behind me, and then it's like... When it's behind you, it seems like it's sort of sticky. Where it'll almost, like, aim in whatever direction you happen to be looking at. Like this. See, I'm not moving the camera, I'm just moving my character. And then if you move past a certain point, then it's like, okay, well, now that you've turned against the camera, I'm gonna just, like, back out. And then if you see, if I look back here, it doesn't really, like... Oh no, it does, it does zoom back in. Kind of slowly. Look at the camera, kind of zooms out, look back at the wall, it sort of like comes in slowly. Yeah, it definitely follows where you're looking a lot closer than it did in the original Silent Hill. Definitely an improvement. I don't feel like I need to adjust the camera nearly as much. I hate it. was the footage that we saw in the original Silent Hill. The one where, uh, the one of Cheryl, and it looked like they were sort of tied up upside down almost, is what I originally thought. I think it was that footage. That's probably like a repressed memory poking through. I hate it, also. Jesus, that's terrifying. Escalators that just... Stop. Do these also stop, or... Oh no, there's a third floor. I hear bad noises. Uh, third floor is the top floor. I will explore that after I've finished with the second floor. Dead, am I? No, no, no. Just got knocked down. Um, I do want to explore this room though, so I think I'm gonna shoot him. And yeah, my health is fine. Okay.
God, I hope there's something worthwhile in here. <laughs> this store used to have really nice stuff. Now it's all falling apart like years have passed or something. Bunch of dismembered mannequins. Hmm. There's mannequin enemies in this game, isn't there? How am I doing on pistol ammo? 11 shots. Bad. Sounded like there's somebody above us, creaking. There's a mannequin arm and body on the floor in the dressing room. I know it's just a big doll, but it's still downright nasty. Okay, some ammo. Hanging bullets and a health drink. Not bad. Unlocked. I guess it only unlocks from this side. Okay. I never actually went to it from the other side, though. Okay. Fuck, it's real bad up here, isn't it? Jesus. Lots of stuff are posted on the wall here, but nothing of any use. I don't like those noises. They're very wet. Okay. Got a walnut. Okay. It's on like a little pillow and then like a little display thing. Like it's supposed to be a piece of jewelry. Something you'd put like a diamond on, a ring. It's just a nut though. Good sized walnut from the jeweler's showcase. Something's rattling around inside, but I can't open it with my bare hands. Ooh. What could it be? It'd have to be something very, very small. It, it can't be a key, really. So I gotta, like, smash it. Combine it with something, if I had something to smash it with. I don't think bleach would open the walnut. This is where the walnut used to be. There was a nice silver ring in here the last time I came. Bummer that it's gone, huh? Yeah, so this is a shopping center that Heather's familiar with. They've been here many times. back here, so there's a save point just right over here. Good to know. Okay. So, I just went into that room right in front of me. Went in there, went down this hallway, and then came out this way and looped around. So, I think I should go back in here and then go up. Oh, 
All right, that was a fun journey. Um, there's a couple doors I haven't tried, actually. All right, two more. Yeah, two more directly in front of me. It's locked, so this one probably has a key. But yeah, that's all the doors. Uh, not quite. There's a couple doors down here I haven't checked, actually. Ugh. It's so disturbing how when you're looking at your map, the monsters still make noise. It makes me feel like they're doing something, even though they're not really. Uh, so there's an elevator, there's a door just directly in front of me, and also, like, directly on my left. Doesn't work, doesn't work. Doesn't work. I guess I should go up to the third floor then, huh? Nowhere else to go, right? Yeah, alright, up to the third floor. Oh, hi! Ugh. Serving dog? Other than that, it's a cozy little restaurant, diner. What is this? Barbecued dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. A cooked key. Huh. Drink, get a med kit. Rose wine bottles. Don't really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality, okay? Yeah, that's fair. Let's see if there's a description on that key. He was in the barbecue dog in the, at the restaurant. Yuck. That's it. Yeah, all these places, like in the center around here, those don't even have doorways marked on the map. So I guess there's nothing to try there. But there are some doorways kind of around the periphery. Is that a dog? Yes. Nothing in here? Hmm. One door immediately on my right. What 
What is this? Is this a chunk of meat? No, 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 no. Bring back the map. Alright, I'm just gonna go out to the main thing and then just run around. Yeah, so there's no point in trying all of these, right? Yeah, that's not even on the map. Doesn't even get marked on the map. Whoa. Towards this red crescent in a route. Dead, something's written here in the same grave. Uh, I. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I need to kill this one, because I, I need to read that. Damn, we got some range. Things are so disgusting looking. They're like a bunch of fucking st stitched together hunks of cancerous meat. I don't know, it's just, it's so wrong. Yeah, my controller is constantly vibrating. I guess that is my indication that I'm almost dead. Got two medkits though. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to see that the health system makes more sense in this game than the first one. The first one, the medkits say that they heal you, like, moderately. And every time I used it, when I had red health, it would take me up to green. But here, I was at red health, and it took me up to yellow, which makes more sense if it's, you know, not the best healing item in the game like the ampules are. Oh, fuck, I just used two. That might be okay, though. Actually, I think the color got better. <sighs> okay. Let's read that. Red crescent and a round dent. Something's written here in the same color red. Piling up the 300th day and night, from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. And the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. What? Piling up? I don't really understand what this means. Cries of pain are heard. The final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. All I get from that is some vague sense of unease that I don't want to go in there, and yet I'm probably going to have to go in there. There's no point in trying my cooked key, right? It would have used it automatically. Yeah, surely it would have. Wait, is there... Is there a light coming from in there? That's the diner, right? Yeah. I didn't even notice that light shining through when I first went in there. That's a nice little touch to tell you that... Like, hey, you might want to check out this door. So that's it for this place, right? Yeah. Okay, so then surely the only thing I can do now at this point is use that key. Somewhere down here. How do I tell which doors are locked but potentially openable? I think it's the one with the flat indication, right? Because like that squiggly means you can't go in there at all, doesn't it? But that flat thing, like the one right here at the very center of the screen, I think that means it's locked. So I can get in there pretty easily back here. Which 
Should probably turn on my light again. Right, there's a monster in here. Yeah, there we go. This place looks like it's been through a fire. Looks charred. Glasses and plates on the counter. There's really nothing important here. Ooh, a couple health drinks. Hmm. Steel pipe! Classic melee weapon. Warm steam coming out of the pipe. Nothing else interesting going on here. Alright, so that's got to be way better than this tiny knife. Switch plate for self-defense. Better with than without it against those monsters. Steel pipe. About three feet long. Not very powerful, but not hard to use. I know it's terrible, but I just love walking around with this. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think there's something new to how this works compared to the pipe in the first Silent Hill. So, do one attack. It's nice, it actually makes a noise when it hits something. Yeah, that's really nice. There's even a controller vibration, too, just to indicate that you made a hit. And you can do... Yeah, so it is quite a bit different from the first Silent Hill. You can do groups of three attacks instead of groups of two attacks, like in the first Silent Hill. One, two, three. One, two, three. You get a distinct clack for each hit if you hit multiple things, I guess. Wasn't I getting multiple hits? There we go. Yeah, double hit. Hitting the counter and the wall, I think. But strong attack. Yeah! Back, left... Okay, so there's actually two types of strong attack. So if you just hold the, uh, the attack button down, it does this overhead. The standard strong attack from that first Silent Hill. But if you press the forwards button, you do a jab. I don't know if there's any real difference. Like, maybe better range? It kind of seems about the same, though, to be honest. Oh, no. There's proof that it is actually further range. Overhead attack? No sound? Jab? Sound. Yeah. I guess the only reason you wouldn't want to use the... The, uh, the jab is if it's something like low to the ground, so you need to do the overhead swing to hit it. Oh, I'm sorry, Heather, you better take a break. That's a lot of swinging. Yeah, and just like with the pipe, um, in the first Silent Hill, the movement is... Uh, actually, the movement's... <laughs> movement's actually quite a bit different. You can't move while you're attacking. Hmm... Never mind, you can't move while you're strong attacking. If you're light, if you're just normal attacking, you can move. Just like you can with the knife. But if you're strong attacking, you can't move. Yeah, so you're a lot more mobile. But I think if you have the knife, you can strong attack and move at the same time. Yes. Yeah, I think there's just the one strong attack for the knife. But yeah, being mobile is pretty nice. Okay, anyway. You know, I should be able to put the walnut on the ground and just like hit it with the steel pipe, you know? But you can't drop anything. And I can't combine it with a weapon, I don't think. Hmm. 
No, I can't. I can't steam the walnut open, can I? What's on the menu? There's a menu on the wall. Looks like this was once a cafe. Yay, we can access the rest of the mall on the second floor. Well. There's one door this way. Oh, Jesus. I think it was hitting me in between each time I was hitting it. I'm still blue, though. What the hell is it? I think it might be... Oh no, it's not down on floor, it's up here. Another hunk of meat in the corner. Ooh. Yeah, the density of, density of enemies in Silent Hill 3 is much higher than the first one. Is that true? Hmm. It's much higher than the first one in indoor locations. Silent Hill 1 was... It did have quite a few enemies in the outdoor locations. If you just ran, you'd get a bunch of dogs and those pterodactyl bird things on your tail. But indoors, there weren't that many enemies. Not nearly as many as this, I think. Ooh, this is the other chemical to mix with the bleach. Detergent. Detergent and bleach. I don't know what that makes, but probably something useful. Next to the bakery sink. It's not for dishes, though. It's for the bathroom. Bottle says, danger, do not mix. If I just mix them right now, is that okay? Even though I have no particular use for it? Oh, you can't, like, combine it without using it? You have to combine it to use it on something. I see. I still don't know what that's going to make. Explosive? Flammable? but it's on. Turn it off? Yes. Ah. <sighs> Peace and quiet. Look at these 
windows. It's like blood red outside. There is another door that I want to check, because this one probably won't open. Yeah, just wanted to get it marked on my map. I wonder if turning off that fan actually did anything. Whoa. I'm guessing I can't walk there. Not going any further, it's creepy and dangerous to boot. It's gotta be a way. I can't very well stab them one by one. Some insect died would do the trick. Or insecticide, rather. Okay, maybe that's what the stuff is for. Yeah, so not just on its own. Oh, it even kind of gives you a hint. That by itself won't do any good. Yeah, that's your little hint to combine them. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wait, maybe... What would turning the fan on do? Would it ventilate it? Do I want to do that? I don't particularly want to die. Better stay out of that hallway. Okay, yeah, I think we need to turn it back on. Someone barricaded this door. Why is this hallway so long? Beef jerky? Handgun bullets, handgun bullets, <laughs> three things of handgun bullets? That's generous. That's not a good thing, really. Makes me think I'm about to fight something. Still don't have that much ammo. 23 plus 10, so 33. Still gonna try to use my pipe, unless I really need to use my pistol. Okay, mm. Yeah, I'm definitely not using my pipe against that. I'm gonna try to run past it for a second, though, just see if there's anything I... Can I just grab the stuff and run out of this place, or...? Ooh, more bad noises. What the fuck is that? It sounds like a saw, like a... Yeah, like a circular saw or something. Or a grind wheel. Um... No thanks. I don't think there's anything in that room. 
with the enemy, but I do want to see if these doors down here open. The void. Okay. Back out here then. noise really just fuck it uh not a lot of doors to try we got escalators over here and then one door right here escalators it is yeah these aren't even marked on the map right oh wait no that's none of those are actually the door oh fuck yeah. I'm not fighting those. There's too many of them. Whatever the hell they are. Huge insect things? Wait, was this even marked on the map? I don't think it was. Huh. Odd. These are places where people were chained up to the wall. The hell is that? A sort of vice here. Oh. Well, I guess I can use that for the walnut. Apparently I can't take it with me, but I guess I'll just use the walnut on it. No nut in the walnut shell, just a... a jewel? Moonstone. Just a type of jewel, not really from the moon. It was inside the walnut somehow. I wonder what I'm gonna use that for. Maybe for... probably for that moon door, huh? Yeah, I bet it's for the moon door. This pattern looks like it could have been drawn in blood. I bet it's some sort of cursed symbol. No wonder my head hurts and I feel so awful when I look at it. Oh, we're in the sports shop, apparently. Nice. I love sports. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna, I guess, explore more of the third, no, second floor.